So I'm here at Fishing Trawler. I've done about six or seven games so far. I haven't received any items whatsoever, um, and I've been receiving pretty terrible fish as well. I'm not really sure why I'm not doing well or what the actual drop rate is, but I've so far I've used 400 flat swamp paste, and I've used a bunch of ropes as well. Hey, just got the angler waders. Pretty awesome. Piece number two coming in, the angler top. Super excited to get the rest of the set. It's going faster than it was before, so hopefully we'll get the next pieces pretty quickly. Got the boots coming in. We were going a little bit dry there. Uh, but yeah, I think all that we have left is the hat, and I don't know if there's gloves, but if there are gloves, we need the gloves too. Ooh, there it is. Back to back, actually. The angler hat. And during that round, I looked up. Turns out that there are no gloves. So I just got the whole set. I've been logged in an hour, 20 minutes today. About 30 minutes yesterday when I went completely dry. All in all, it's about an hour and 50 minutes, two hours-ish. So that's not bad to get the angler set. And apparently it saves you 300k XP one if you wear it all the way to 99. So it is worth it at the end of the day. And plus... I think that there's a way to upgrade this, or cosmetically upgrade it, I'm not sure. I think you get it from Temporos, I'm not sure, honestly. I, I need to start doing more research in this game. And here we go, level 71, fishing. I can now use a crystal harpoon, but I can't because I'm a skiller. I'm kind of starting to get the hang of Temporos, and I'm really starting to enjoy it. It is a bit more click intensive than soloing Winter Toad, though, at least I think so, because you actually have to pay attention in this or else your resources get wiped. But yeah, uh, I'm really enjoying it so far. Oh my god, finally. I just got the achievement, why cook? And that was the hardest achievement I've ever had to get. And that's by getting 10 reward points, which is like 8,200 points in Temporos doing a solo. And it took me literally three hours. That's how long it took me because <sighs> I couldn't figure it out, and I watched a guide, and I couldn't fish fast enough because my fishing level, I guess, is too low, and I don't have any upgraded things, so I had to do a bunch of workarounds. I actually made it to round four in Temporos, which is pretty awkward and hard to do solo. At least it was for me. And, uh, yeah, I kept getting kicked out and everything, kept getting wiped, but I finally got that achievement so far, I have six out of the eight done. All that I have left is the 50 kill count, which is going to happen soon. And then attack Temporos from both sides by loading both cannons on both ships, which I believe I'm going to get next game. Okay, and here we go. 50 Temporos kill count, which means that I have completed these combat tasks. And uh, let's see, let's just double check real quick, make sure. Yep, Temporos. 8 of 8. So what I'm going to do now is open up the rewards, which I have 186 total permits right now, and we're going to see what we get. Okay, so I don't know how rare this loot is, but I just got a fish barrel and a casket. I'm going to look it up real quick in another tab. Okay, so apparently the fish barrel is 1 in 400. So, not that bad to get already. Um, caskets are also 1 in 20. Alright, we- oh! 
Just got the tackle box. Okay, that's another 1 in 400 drops. So we got both of the 1 in 400 drops, which is pretty wild. The fish barrel stores up to 28 raw fish, but can only be removed at the bank, um, which is pretty cool. So I could do double uh, fly fishing, I guess. And then the tackle box here stores fishing equipment. So that means stuff such as rods and stuff like that. Okay, that's cool. We only got five more rewards, so we can't do anything else. All right, so that's all that we got. I'm surprised we only got eight soap pages, honestly, uh, because they're a one in 53.69 drop. And uh, yeah, we got two one in 400 drops and nine one in 20 drops. So let's open up these caskets real quick, see what we get. Okay, no, but that's a lot of jade. All right, let's price check this stuff. Alrighty, 429k. Not bad, not bad at all. I'm not really doing this for money though. I'm doing this because it's a lot more enjoyable than uh, tick fishing, which is not very fun. And we also got a good amount of spirit flakes. So what I'm gonna do is turn the angler top. Do I just use them on here? No, do I use this on here? No, I don't know how to do it. Um, apparently you only need... I don't even know how much. I thought it was... Let me see here. Oh, I gotta talk to somebody. Okay. Okay, yeah, so I talk to her and I get my piece. Okay. Alright, and then I guess that's how I do it. So now we got the Spirit Angler top. Okay, cool. And here we go. 75 fishing. So I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier, but I just bought a dragon harpoon. I think I can use it even though I can't wield it. Um, my thoughts were that I can't use it because I don't have 61 attack or whatever it is to wear this. So I can't use it, but I wasn't thinking about it being in my inventory like axes are for woodcutting and pickaxes are for mining. So uh, yeah, let's see if this actually works. If it works, I, I don't know what I was doing. Oh, wow. Okay. So, I guess you can use the Dragon Harpoon. What a waste of time. I could have been getting so many more points. So, I decided to do some smithing and getting some of these Mithril Bars made into Mithril Dart Tips. I am currently level 75 smithing. I have about 6,500 bars left, so it should get me past 75. Um, probably maybe even around 77-ish, um, I guess we'll see. And if you guys remember back a few videos ago, I actually got a donation from a player named Skiller58, and this is actually him on another account right now that he just made recently, a new Skiller account, and he messaged me and wanted to give me a bond for my account, which is really awesome of him, and I just wanted to put it on video just so that everybody can see how awesome this guy really is. Oh wow, he's actually going to give me 10 mil cash so that I can go buy a bond and use the leftover GP. Thank you so much. Also, I've realized in my other video that even though it looks like I am getting normal frames, 60 frames per second in real life when I'm recording, for some reason, my recording software is not doing it correctly and it's making me lag. So I am going to try to fix that for you guys because I do know it is quite annoying to try to watch gameplay whenever someone looks like they're getting 20 frames per second. and. Trust me, I'm not. It just looks that way when I'm recording. So I'm going to try to figure it out, maybe get a new recording software. But please stick with me for the time it takes for me to figure everything out to make it look nice again. Because the 117 plugin, it is kind of messing with some recording stuff. I don't know why, but I'll figure it out. And the bond just came in with 4.4 mil cash left over. And I am going to redeem it for membership. So again, thank you so much, Skiller58, a.k.a. Tulsma level 3. It really truly does mean a lot to me. And thank you for helping me afford membership so that I could keep making videos. Okay, so I ended up updating all of my drivers, which apparently I've never done. And I was using 100% disk space, which is not too good, which was slowing a lot of things down. So I fixed all that. It says I'm running at a better disk rate, but for some reason, it's still laggy looking. So I'm going to have to try to figure that out. I think it might have to do with OBS because it's usually not lagging when I don't have OBS open. So I guess I will try again to fix it in the next clip. But 
on another note, I only have three more mithril bars until I get to level 78 smithing, which is really wild because it was the perfect amount of mithril bars I needed to level up, and now I'm officially out of mithril bars. I also got a book of knowledge last inventory, I figured I'd save it for this clip, and I'm going to use that on Slayer, which will get me 18 Slayer. So not bad, not bad at all. Also, let's price check these Mithril Dart Tips, and apparently they are 12.6 mil. So what I'm going to do, since I am already 78 smithing, is sell these Dart Tips, and then I'm going to buy Adamant Bars in order to get me up to 80 smithing, because I am so close. And hopefully I'll be able to figure out why my thing is lagging so bad. Okay, so fortunately and unfortunately, I have found out the reason why I'm lagging so much. Um, I, the trick that I used is I turned on the FPS counter up here on the top right in order to see what is making me lag. And unfortunately, what is making me lag is the dynamic lights, which sucks because that's the thing that makes it cool for the Phoenix. For example, if I have it on 100, my thing drops down to like... 28 to 30 FPS Which looks really cool But I can't do it because that's unplayable even at 50 it only bumps up to like 38 FPS few is Roughly about 50 FPS, but if I want the best I have to turn it off which sucks It really sucks, but hey three to five years ago my computer was pretty decent But now it is basically getting obsolete which sucks and I am going to have to get a new one soon, but I'm too broke to do that. So, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. I guess I'm just going to have to run with no dynamic lighting, which really sucks because I was so excited for it for the Phoenix, but it is what it is. Also, I sold all of my Mithril Dart Tips and bought just enough Adamant Bars in order to get level 80 smithing. And supposedly, I'm only going to lose about 100k using Dart Tips up to level 80, so it's basically free training. Barely any loss, no gain, which I'm fine with for right now. I mean, there's no reason to spend a whole ton of money, and this is a bit more AFK. All right, here we go. We have only eight bars left, which should be the perfect amount in order to get me to level 80 smithing, which is pretty cool. I never thought that smithing would be my next 80 stat, but hey, here we are. It was pretty AFK, and it was pretty easy to do and here we go level 80 smithing on the dot i can now make adamant battle axes and god sword blades enhanced crystal keys and eternal teleport crystals which i can't really do any of those but whatever it's also brought me up to 57,000 adamant dart tips which total out to about 10.6 mil already so i just dropped those adamant dart tips in the grand exchange i should be getting almost 10.8 mil so we'll round that up to about 11 mil and then this money here is pretty much 15 mil so roughly i will have about 25 and a half mil once these all sell hopefully they do sell for this price but i guess we will see also i'm not sure which stat i want to train next um i was thinking we i should go for maybe base 75s now uh, even though I did get 80 smithing, it kind of throws everything off now. But I'm not sure. Maybe I'll get 75 construction. Um, I guess we'll see. I decided to do some oak doors in order to get 75 construction. I'm almost there right now. I'm finally starting to get the hang of it really easily down to making these things very efficiently. Uh, right now I'm getting about 400k XP an hour. And I'm only one door away from getting 75 construction. I can now build a dungeon treasure room, which I'm not going to And I can do all this stuff as well. Pretty cool. But yeah, guys, that is where I am actually going to end today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to drop a like below. And if you were new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well. Especially with the Halloween event coming up pretty soon here, I'm going to be one of the first ones to release a Halloween tutorial video to get you guys' stuff really quick. So if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. So yeah, guys, with all that being said, hope that you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one.